Welcome back. So, you've chosen the green book. Well, I can definitely see why. After all, we've learned that both of the brothers cannot be trusted. And since both of them told us not to use the green book, perhaps we should, in fact, use it. Of course, there is a risk that it might, in fact, be a trap book, like uh, the ones that is holding the brothers, but even if that is the case, I don't think there's any harm in at least opening the book to see uh, what's in it. Because until we would use its linking panel, we wouldn't be trapped, probably. Hopefully. Well, let's see. It's definitely a better option than picking either the red or the blue page, neither of which is a particularly smart thing to do at this point, if you've paid even the slightest bit of attention to what's been going on in the game. A green book with uh, no writing on the cover, so we do not know what age it leads to, or uh, if it doesn't in fact lead to any at all, and is a trap book, like Sirius and Agonar said it was. Wait, is that Atrus? Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to Donnie. Not yet. Um, oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. As you no doubt have for me. Um, where should I begin? Oh. Perhaps my story is in order. Um, my name is Atrus. I fear you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island. In my library. My library. Oh. It contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books. Many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. Mm, I wrote those books, too. I entrap over-greedy explorers that might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. Ah, my sons. Cirrus and Agonar, we had many journeys together. Ah, I gave them free reign to the books. Ah, perhaps it was not wise. Ah, I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Uh, of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Uh, oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had, had progressed. Their own mother. He was their own mother. Oh, my dear Catherine. Uh, to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I... I could return to Mist, except that they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. Well, well, well. It seems that Akinar's claims to the contrary. Atrus is not dead. He is in fact fine, but 
trapped on some other age, apparently, which he called Dunny. And now it finally starts to become clear what really happened. And using some of the information from the other games, we can further fill in the blanks. Atrus lived on Mist for 30 years after Gen was trapped on Riven. He wrote many ages, some of which we saw here. Unlike his father, he treated the inhabitants of his ages as equals, friends even, and often tried to help them, as we've seen. He often took his sons on explorations with him, and even created a set of lesson ages to teach them about the art, uh, which we learn about in Mist 3, of course. Although Atrus wanted to return to Dunny and learn more about its fate, and possibly rebuild the Dunny civilization, he never actually went back there. He was afraid that Gen might still be able to escape Riven and find a way back to Dunny, and if Atrus visited Dunny and left a mist book behind, Gen might find it and follow him through. It was a risk he did not want to take. But then, Anna died. We don't know exactly how, but she was apparently killed in an accident on an age written by Catherine. To deal with the grief, Atrus buried himself in, in his work and neglected his sons, which they saw as rejection, and their inability to cope with this was a major factor in them straying off a straight and narrow. They declared themselves kings of the ages and mist and ruled, likely even massacred their people and plundered their riches. Eventually, the two conspired against their parents. They tricked Catherine into go going to Riven, and then told Atrus that Catherine was waiting for him in Dunny. The true brothers had sabotaged Atrus's linking book by removing a single page from it, which they hid in the marker switch vault, so he could not return the mist. This is why the brothers had the note on how to open the vault, and it's also what Sirius was talking about in his message uh, to Aknar in Channelwood. It seems that message was recorded during the final stages of this plan. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the brothers were too greedy. After tricking their parents, the two of them became interested in the red and blue books on Mist, books that Atrus had told them not to use because they linked to dangerous ages. Sirius and Akinar believed these ages to contain yet more opportunities for conquest and plunder and each individually decided to link to one of them, unknowingly trapping themselves. It's not until Mist 4 that we learn what the brothers really hoped to accomplish by trapping Atrus, and if you want to know what that was, well, I've got a let's play of that game too, so feel free to watch it. Of course, now we must go and retrieve that uh, missing uh, page from the Mist book, which we've already seen is in the... Uh, Marker switch fault. Or perhaps we should ignore what Atrus said and just go through to Dunny. Would you go through to Dunny? Nah, that's not a good idea. After all, we'd be trapped there too. If Atrus has no way out, then neither would we. So, I guess there is nothing for it. We have to go outside and collect that white page. And the brothers, well, they can just go screw themselves. It would be kind of funny if there was a different message uh, now that we know of their treachery. <laughs> but that's not the case if you try and look at them uh, now. You don't yet have the final page. You just get the uh, message about not having the page yet. No, we don't have the final page and you're not going to get it either. Because you are a liar. And if we gave you the final page, then we would get trapped in the book. All right, open the vault and take the white page. Now we know what to do with it. We have to take it to uh, Atrus. And I'm having some trouble finding the fireplace. 
It's not as if that's difficult. So, once again, we need to enter the combination. Hmm? What did I just do? I don't know, I was looking at my notes while clicking. That's not right. That is! There we go! Alright, let's bring Atrus, the um, page, to his mist book and resolve this matter once and for all in the next video.